Use Calyx Imaging Crystal to summon the image of Calyx and accept the Nexus Vault. Familiar. You the Nexus Vault lies deep beneath the main spire. You will find its entrance in the lowest chamber of the spire's base. The volatile energies within the Nexus seem to be interfering with the image crystal. I fear you may be on your own from here. Good luck. Enter the Nexus located at the lowest level at coordinates 2725. Maintain your power word shield, which places the atonement buff on yourself. So, the lock on the Nexus has been broken, and by a common adventurer, no less. Uh, will wonders never cease? If you've come to engage me in battle in hopes of obtaining some spurious trinket, I'm afraid you're too late. The Ethereum have taken the bite out of this old dragon, and I fear they have robbed me of anything you would deem useful. If it's looting you desire, as your kind so often does, then I suggest taking the fight to them. Travel north to 3567. Defeat the Scion of Fire. The Scion of Ice will attack after the Scion of Fire dies. Interrupt Icicle Barrage or move out of its path. After the Sign of Ice dies, the Sign of Magic will attack. Move out of the way of the Arcane Orb. After the Scions are killed, heal Azragos to full health. Ah, you are a capable healer, priest. I feel my strength returning. I assume you come seeking the Nexus Vault. Why else would anyone return to this place? Unfortunately, access to the Vault is proving difficult. If you help me access the Librarium, I will find a way through. We must not let the Ethereum obtain the artifacts it holds. But first, I think I'll slip into a more comfortable form. These halls were never quite spacious enough for my tastes. Shall we? After Azragos transforms into a humanoid, travel west to 2367. You'll need to monitor his health and heal as necessary. Yeah. 
After the wall comes down, continue north to 2242, defeating the Wrath Embers. Wrath is no longer fully contained. It is a most potent and chaotic weapon. It will lash out at us as we try to approach. Be prepared. The fire seems to have superheated the ground here. I hope you have a way to get us over it. While on your journey through the Hall of Stasis, use Levitate on yourself and Azurgos to safely cross the strips of fire. Follow the path around to the Librarium, located at 2736. We're here! Now, let me see if I can find a way into the vault. As I suspected, the entrance to the vault was broken off when Malagos breached the Twisting Nether during the Nexus Wars. I feel the powers it holds resonating through the Nexus. There must be another way to reach the vault. Aha! That's... Wait a moment. The energy from the vault is surging! Brace yourself! Judgment's Flame will spawn in the middle of the room for you to fight. Remember to maintain your power word shield during this fight. This creature is using its own life essence to harm us! He dies a little more with every attack! He 
is absorbing the flame back into his body to become whole again. Priest, perhaps you can use your magic to influence his mind. Trick him into snuffing out his own flame. Use mind control and cast diffusion until it has sacrificed all of its health. That was too close. If the weapon goes unchecked much longer, it will bring this whole place down around us. Quickly, we must head to the rift. It's the only way. Travel north to coordinates 3122, killing the ethereal mobs you come across. Wait, didn't there used to be a bridge here? Fools! You may have destroyed the Surge Needles, but you are too late to stop us! The power of Light's Wrath will rip open the breach! Oh great, more Ethereals. It looks like they're channeling the energy from the vault into the breach. This is not good. Come! Time to show these ethereals that I still have a bit of fight left in me. Click on Agricos to ride him across the rift. I will bring whatever power I have to bear against the Nexus Prince. But in my weakened state, it falls upon you to finish this threat. I hope you are prepared. You are too late, interlopers! Nothing can stop me now! I have become void! After landing, defeat Nexus Prince Belial. The Ethereum will rise again! Move toward the center of the platform when he begins channeling Force of Gravity. for the all-powerful Void! <laughs> you know you're not a bad ally. Pity you're not a dragon. Azurgos will land after Belial is killed and open the portal to the Nexus Vault. I can open a portal to the Vault, but I'll have to remain on this side to keep it open. The way is clear. Hurry, little one. I can't keep this open for long. You made it, but to leave this place with the weapon, you must first gain control of it. Good luck. Travel to the center of the platform in the middle of the Nexus Vault and click on Light's Wrath. Use your healing spells to restore your health while Light's Wrath attacks you.
Click on Light's Wrath to claim your artifact weapon. Well done. The energies from the vault seem to be stabilizing. Now hurry back before the portal closes and you're locked inside. Proceed northeast and click on the portal to the Nexus. I am impressed. Never have I seen a priest capable of controlling Light's Wrath. The Ethereals have been routed, and you have the weapon you came for. Your business here is finished. Mine, on the other hand, has just begun. I thank you for freeing me. You have given me the greatest gift of all. That of time. I will use that time to secure the Nexus. It must never again fall into the wrong hands. This portal will take you back to Kalagos. Click the portal to Dalaran that Azure Ghost drops for you. Travel west to the Violet Citadel, located at coordinates 3249. Head to the Violet Citadel and turn in the quest to Archmage Kalik. What brings you to me, mortal? Speak freely, friend. <laughs> 